So today's video is a very exciting one that I cannot wait to film and it is a unboxing video. I thought I would do sort of like a first impressions on this bag. So uh, a little bit of backstory, I was looking for a bag to take as a carry-on bag for our upcoming trip to Florida. Um, I already have a wheeled suitcase and I wanted a bag that could sit on top of it. And I have been loving the brand Lug for a while now. Um, I have their little belt bag, which I love, the little sort of bum bag. And I've been following this brand for quite a while. And there are a couple of different styles that I liked on the website. And you probably are not overly familiar with foot with Lug if you live in the UK. It's definitely an American and Canadian brand. Uh, that's where it was founded. And it's primarily on uh, US QVC. That's primarily where you can get it and where I've purchased some items before. So if you do live in the UK, you can purchase Lug on Amazon, which is great. It is a little bit pricey as far as you're pretty much paying what it is in dollars so the i mean the conversion's not great anyway at the moment but you are paying pretty much what it is the only great thing about it is i did get free shipping on this and uh there was no sort of import taxes that's all included when when you purchase your order so you don't get any unexpected royal mail fees which is great so this is the bag very excited that's sort of the size so what i was looking for in a bag was something that i can take lots of gadgets with me this trip i plan on taking quite a few electronic items so i've got my laptop a tablet i've got my dslr camera i've got my vlogging camera uh i've got a an polaroid or like a fujifilm instax camera so i have a lot of gadgets and gear that i want to take with me and i wanted something that would house it all keep me organized in the past i've used so many different carry-on bags it's ridiculous um i've used everything from sort of like weekender bags like from kath kidson i've used backpacks i did consider taking my big slr backpack but i thought it might be a bit too bulky for what i like i just didn't think it would work out well plus i look like a turtle when i wear it and it can be quite heavy to sort of carry around so i wanted something that could sit on my luggage preferably with a sort of trolley sleeve on it so it's going to be secure on the bag um and i also wanted something that had like external pockets on it so i was able to like grab other little things i didn't have to go into the main bag if i wanted you know like lip balm earbuds that sort of thing so this was the bag i settled on let's open it up very exciting shall i open it up properly in case i need to return it probably <laughs> it, although i have just gouged a hole in the middle of the bag right i can't imagine this going back to be honest so yes this is part of amazon's like global company so it does come from america but it came pretty quickly so i think i purchased it maybe like sunday or something so it's taken about a week which i thought was really good and you can track it as well so oh this is the bag so let's take it out so i got the puddle jumper duffel bag and I was toying between this one and the Avion um, in sort of the grey colour with the shimmer at the bottom. And ultimately the reason I didn't pick that one was because it had no external pockets and it didn't have a separate laptop sleeve, which this one does. So, let's open it up. So excited. This is what it looks like. So, well, that is the bag. Let's sort of just do a little bit there we go that is the bag so you can see even just like holding it it keeps its structure really nicely which i like um so this is the puddle jumper duffel bag in the heather gray i was toying between this and the leopard berry the leopard berry you i couldn't get on amazon you could only get the gray and i think some of the black ones but i thought ultimately this is sort of a nice just 
basic colour. It's going to go in my grey luggage. I thought I can always accessorise it with something if I want to. And I thought I might eventually grow out of that leopard berry colour because it's such a bold print. Uh, so I wanted something that I could be able to use for years to come. So, ooh, where do I even start? Let's start with the dimensions of the bag. So let me get it up and the price for it. So, I paid, and it does vary, like, pounds, like, very slightly, like, I've noticed over the past couple of weeks that they'll vary by, like, a pound, and even sometimes if you look on your phone, it can be different from if you look on a laptop, so bear that in mind, um, I don't know why, but I paid £101.41, looking at it now, the price of the bag is £102.28, so it's, it's pretty, like, odd how it changes, um, but yes, I got the Heather Grey, and let's find you the dimensions. So it says it is 15.5, I'm assuming this is in inches, um, I guess across, and then 11.5 inches uh, height, and then 6.5 inches in depth. And I don't know if that's that way or that way. Um, I'm not sure. So I watched a ton of the QVC lug videos to be able to decide what bag I wanted and that's a really great informational place to start out. There's also uh, a great YouTuber on here, um, I believe it's Lug Nut TV. Um, she has helped me even acquire another lug bag which I will talk about at a later date uh, but uh, she does great informational videos. So let's go through the bag. So Let's get it nice and close. So that is the colour of it. So it's a really nice sort of two-dimensional grey. You've got the black zips on it. And it's just, it's got a really nice sort of like cushiony material to it. It's got, you can tell like it all has a little bit of padding to it, which is nice. So let's start on the front. You have a ton of outside pockets, which was one of the main features. So let's start with the front pocket so you've got three main sort of zip pockets you've got this one here and inside it's got this striped material which is I mean I'm not mad for it but it's definitely like a unisex colour I'd say uh, so you've got that one you've got the same underneath and these are quite sort of roomy uh, I don't know what I could put in just to show you let's have a look so I've got like a little notebook here and that let's see if it will fit in it i mean it's not going to zip up but you can tell that sort of the size of it is what size is that maybe a little a6 a5 notebook I'm not sure probably a6 i want to say anyway so that's sort of the size of them so you've got the zip pockets you've also then got these little magnetic flaps so you can pop you know lip balm anything you want and again it's got that lining in it as well so you've got those then you've got the flap on this side so again that goes all the way down that's a nice roomy one and you know these feel quite secure so if it's you do happen to get a bit of turbulence or something you know things aren't necessarily going to fall out and then you've got the zip pocket that goes around it really nice like easy zips which is good um, and again this just feels a little bit padded and I believe you can fit a like a small tablet in it like an iPad mini and again for size reference you know that fits in nicely and yeah definitely going to be able to fit you know a nice big wallet or if you've got sort of like a travel organizer uh, like with all your passport and things like that in it that's going to fit nicely in there so you've got that pocket and then you've got a very exciting little magnetic pocket here and this is actually like fleece lined which is gorgeous this is ideally made to put your phone in and this is a nice big roomy pocket I mean if I just pull the like that is the size of it inside so you're gonna fit your larger iPhones in it or 
Samsung phones. Um, I might put actually my vlogging camera in it. I think that's probably going to fit in it quite nicely. So I can just pull that out if I'm vlogging at the airport. And again, you've got that nice sort of little magnetic closure on it. Uh, so that is that. Let's move on to the sides. So you've got these two little bungee cords. And uh, I don't think they're magnet. They don't feel like they're magnetised, uh, but you can put, you know, your water bottle, um, snacks, things like that. And it's got this quilted sort of chevron print on it. And again, that's a little bit padded. And again, you've got the same on the other side. So two really roomy side pockets to put, you know, bottles, things like that. I also thought this would be a good sort of like on the go travel baby bag you can put bottles things like that and because you've got all of the outside pockets you can really get things very easily and quickly without having to rummage in the main compartment uh, let's go on to the back you've got the little tags here so it says PJ duffel so puddle jumper duffel overnight bag uh, you've got the little lug uh, thing on it. It says it's got RFID protection. I'm not sure which part of this is RFID. I will have to look that up and possibly leave an annotation. And then it says live life in colour, which is their sort of signature uh, motto. And then it says hashtag lug life on the back. So on the back you have the trolley sleeve, which was a massive thing for me. So I will possibly pop that on just show you a little clip of that uh showing you what it looks like on a piece of luggage because sometimes that can be a really good size indication of as opposed to me just like holding it up and then you've also got a nice full uh zip bag oh it comes with a good little thank you it is a little bit bent up um but this is the founding uh, owners of the brand, Amy and her husband, uh, Jason. And it says, Live Life in Colour, a family-run company founded by Amy and Jason Richer in 2005. Lug is a bag and accessories brand that designs with function, fashion and colour in mind. We design with you front and centre, making travel and your day-to-day -day as bright and as original as you are. Uh, so, And it says, lightweight, water repellent, dedicated pockets. So... The the whole thing was there are they were a long distance couple and they were travelling a lot. This would have been great when I did long distance with Darren. It's like a weekend bag. And they wanted, you know, things to travel with that were really functional and easy to travel with. So that's where the brand sort of came from. Again, you've got this lining i like the fact it's not just one dark color because it helps sort of lighten the bag up a little bit again not crazy on the interior i know they've just bought out sort of like more of a botanical um print which i would have preferred but again if you're looking for this for a guy this is good and then i don't know if you'll be able to see it's also got like two pen pockets here so a place to put some pens you put you know magazine um your book anything in back there important documents if you want to get to them nice and quick and again that goes right down to the bottom of the bag so that is nice uh what else the handles themselves they've got this sort of uh rubbery texture to them so they feel really nice to hold they're not going to you know dig in if you are carrying it sort of on the crook of your arm it's not going to dig in it's going to be nice and comfortable um just off the bat you know you do have some threads coming off which is not great um but just something i thought i'd mention you know this is a full first impressions and so that's pretty much the exterior of the bag you have got the two little uh loops on the side because it does come with a crossbody strap which i will show you uh so let's get into the main bits of the bag so we'll start with this front one and this is the laptop sleeve so again just a really nice sort of I mean, I, it is a thin pocket, but it opens up quite wide. Like, you can get into it nice and easily. And you're going to be able to fit your bigger laptops in this. Um, and a tablet, magazines, books, files, all that sort of thing. So if you're looking at, at it from a work perspective, this is nice as well. So that's very exciting. And then let's go into the main section of the bag, which is where most of the fun stuff is. So you do have your crossbody strap. This is what it looks like. It's got a nice padded 
uh, section again it's got that rubber bit on the back and that little chevron print I would have liked if they had incorporated more of this uh, pattern onto it a little bit more so that's your your long crossbody strap uh, let's see so inside you've got a really nice structured bottom so you know it, it stands up on its own it does underneath have like a wipeable bottom with these little feet which is nice so if you are worried obviously putting it on floors and stuff you can just wipe it and keep it clean so let's get into the main compartment now and I'll show you this as best as I can so starting on the side that is closest to the front you have a zip pocket so if you want to keep things nice and sort of separate if you want you know things out the way and this is a really like large pocket again if I just pull out the interior so you can sort of see that's quite a nice pocket for keeping you know things you don't want seen maybe you want to put your purse in there or if you want to put like feminine products things like that uh, but you've got that nice zipped away then you've got one two three large cargo pockets so these are the ones that have the little like stretchy bit on them so again that's components you see a lot in changing bags if you put in you know, bottles nappies extra clothes things like that but again uh for the every day-to-day -day person traveling you can put all sorts of, you know a notebook um again snacks things like that so i'm just gonna see if this fits in one of those pockets this is my instax mini 90 just for size reference and yeah it fits in that middle one nicely so that's handy i can keep that in there it's got its own pocket maybe i can put a film in the the one next to it so that's sort of like a size of a pocket and even when that's all the way down you've got maybe maybe like an inch more room above it so because you can't see it sticking out so that fits really nicely in there so very pleased about that so again you've got the three pockets then on the other side you have a clear let's see how i can show you these two clear pockets so you've got two so if you are doing like a weekend away and you want to put uh all your toiletries in that's really nice or makeup you can keep it nice and organized and you know you're making sure that everything stays in there it does have one zip going across them all so it's not like two separate zips um, but the pockets are separated down the middle so i believe that is everything for the inside i'm not seeing like a key fob or like a bungee cord um but i suppose you could put that in one of these front pockets your keys if you needed to what i do want to try is this so this is by case logic and um i think it came with one of my camera bags that i got but in it i do have my large dslr and also an extra lens so this is what i will keep some of my equipment in and then i will also have other little bits of equipment um in their own separate small like protective gear so let's pop this in and that fits super nicely in there i am very pleased and there's still a ton of room because obviously i'm going to want to put like my clear liquids bag in here as well um plus any other lenses so you want to just grab another bag that i have and just see if that will fit in with it i don't intend to necessarily put it in with it i might put it in my wheelie bag uh, but i want to see if it can fit in here just in case so this is something i bought from amazon and coincidentally i mean they match fairly well um also matches my sofa um so this is what i will have loads of uh, camera equipment in so i've already started to put some of that in and now this bag has come i can properly start packing for my trip so i want to see if this fits in there as well and yeah fits nicely side by side i don't know if you can see that have a look it's a lot of gray going on i'm <laughs> i'm aware but they fit really nicely side by side there's still like extra room to fit things in you can zip it up very easily you know you can see it's still smushy there's a lot of room in there um and now i filled it up you can see the shape 
quite nicely. So I will take some little shots and insert them, maybe some little mod shots so you can see what it looks like if you do intend to carry it. And again, what it looks like on a suitcase. But, you know, first impressions, I'm very pleased with this. Hopefully it's going to last because obviously it was a hundred pound bag. Um, but I am very excited by this. I want to maybe pop a little keychain or something on this. I have got an idea of something I'd like to pop on it. But you're going to have to wait for my carry-on packing videos for that. Um, yeah, very pleased with that. So I will show Darren, see what he thinks, because obviously it's it's luggage for both of us really it's definitely a unisex piece and that's what i like about lug as well they have a lot of colors that are definitely unisex and i think especially if you're in the us and can take advantage of qbc when they have some great pricing offers i mean this is an, a really good bag i know you can get this for 90 dollars around that mark on qbc um so yeah i don't think i'm forgetting anything i want to talk about that's sort of like my first impressions i'm very pleased that i can fit what i thought i could in um and yeah i can't wait to put all my little bits and pieces in there and uh yeah let me know what you thought of this video if you liked this sort of first impressions unboxing hit that subscribe button if you want to see how i pack this for our next trip to florida spoiler there is a lot of gadgets and things like that but also i'll do also packing videos of packing our clothes and things like that in our main carry-on bags so yeah if you liked this um bagging video in a sense then let me know down below if you'd like me to see more videos more lug videos i'd quite like to do that and yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one bye guys